All right, guys, Shotty T here with the Alliance War video. Uh, we missed the second one because I've been on vacation and used my phone to record a whole bunch of other personal stuff that I can't post on this channel. So, yes, I didn't have enough storage capacity to actually record and save and load documents, load my second video, second war video onto YouTube. So, but we did end up losing. I lost two bonuses again. This time it was just AI being very uncooperative on a couple of boss island nodes, but we lost by 10 bonuses. So ultimately we just died too many times. Like that first war, we got away with dying more than normal because the opponent died over a hundred times. But this war, it kind of carried over to this war. So hopefully we'll be in better form this war here. So we have Archangel, Tiger Band, and Kingpin Band for the first time. I'm pretty sure he'll probably be banned a lot as the season goes forward. So I'm bringing two subdue attackers here. Uh, we got Kitty Pride and Sorcerer. And, and Storm Pyramid X is just a synergy channel. She's useful for fights in general, but I don't need her this war for the fights that I'm taking. So first we got this Atuma on Spike Armor. Basically what we're gonna do is just use Kitty and not worry about the thorn damage. So that's the plan there. And we'll, we'll go ahead and apply these overflow boosts while we got them. All right, and I'm gonna renew my sigil this week too. Anyway, let's jump in, shall we? This node is nothing special, so we're not gonna carry him here. Taking this fight with Kitty as well, and then the 
this fight also with Kitty. And then the rest of them will be sorcerer fights on, with the cosmic champs on the right side and the main boss, which is why I brought Storm Pyramid X to help with the power start. She'll have a good and power start boost with that synergy. So that'll be useful for this fight, especially as well as this fight, really for all three of them, because all these people have a lot of buffs with that tactic. So anyway, um, they, it may or may not have voiceover commentary, uh, because I, I am with other people, and you don't want to hear background stuff while I'm there. There's going to be a lot of a loud atmosphere. So anyway, later. All right, this is the voiceover segment. At this juncture, I was still down on vacation, out on vacation, out trying to sneak in some fights, but I was in a very noisy environment, so couldn't do the voiceover, uh, and you guys hear all that noise in the background, some inappropriate stuff, or at least audio, so probably best just the voiceover this, because I'm currently at home now, back from vacation. And uh, the first fight we got here is a Kitty Pride versus uh, Terax. This is probably gonna be probably one of the more straightforward fights of the whole war. Just gonna Kitty just keep intercepting, using his aggression against him. We don't care about the power stings because we're not throwing specials. We don't really care about his flourish buff either. Um, so we just continue to throw it. He parries us, but we're invisible, so I'm immune to stun. But we did hit this block, though, to get rid of it, and then I realized, oh, this person has suicide, so Papa Levy, or Leave, whatever, has suicides. But again, as you guys see, it's pretty straightforward fight. Nothing crazy here. Not much to see. And we're going to end up finishing this fight with a full yellow bar. I believe. Yep, there we go. Alright, so I don't remember what the next fight is. I have to commentate on it live. Um, you get the raw stuff here, guys. <laughs> but as you can see, this victory screen is taking too long. Okay, now we go to the next fight here, um, which will jump transition-wise. All right, there we go. All right, so this next fight, at this point, I probably had a few, a little, a few, a little bit of alcohol in my system. So what you're going to see here is a very methodical fight with Kitty Pride. I didn't use my mutant boost because I wasn't thinking to use that at the time. Um, I was just going to pretty much do what I did in that Terex fight. But, of course, the Doom AI is not the Terex AI in his... Um, rock field mode being more aggressive so this one just and then plus he got missed dispersion so i was kind of debating at times whether i want to push to this sp2 phase through it or just bait sp1 and just but it's going to feed his md and of course the shock but i could use the shock at times uh, if i do get clipped or if i do get inflicted with a debuff from the aura, I can at least use the face to cheese heal during the shock. So that was part of why I was doing that at first. And again, I prefer to throw SP1, uh, for him to throw SP1s early on in the fight, where there comes a time where I actually uh, push him to the SP2 instead. And, and I guess you can kind of factor that from the standpoint that I got 20 Prowess charges so I can afford to phase this whole uh, SP2. But all of a sudden, um, I'm not dexing his SP1 like I should. And again, this fight becomes very methodical. It's like I didn't quite go in here with a full detailed game plan because, again, wasn't quite thinking 100%. So that's why I tried to keep it simple by doing what I did. So you see we phased through it, so we lost nine prowess phasing through that SP2. But as you can see, we're back almost to our maximum uh, prowess charges. 
All right, and now we're going to go ahead and uh, get to this here. All right, so uh, let's see. Yeah, so this, yeah, this fight. If you want to fast forward through the rest of it, that's fine. I mean, I don't die here. It's just that the fight becomes very methodical, uh, especially towards the end. So, so here we go. And let's get hit in the face again. Why not? Just get hit in the face for good measure. Yeah, this is probably not how to play Katie Pride one on one. Um I mean I get my intercepts in of course here and there but outside of that it's just not the best um executed kitty fight. Now I'm just trying to use willpower. Knowing that this is her last fight so I shouldn't really care about the willpower but it is what it is. Alright we're gonna try to get that last intercept in here. There we go. And we didn't want him to miss there, but we said might as well since we made it that far. And we finally throw the SP2 to get this fight over with, or the SP3. So, yeah, good riddance to that Doom, but we got the solo. That's all that matters. But that concludes the voiceover version. So now we resume the live commentary. All right, guys, we're back. I think my six hour boost way expired. Yeah, the um, other two fights, the, other, the second set of fights, basically, I was out and somewhat tipsy. So that's why you saw me try to keep those kitty fights very simple. They were longer, but if I was more alert, the fights would have been much quicker. But now we're, we're up better to get these fights out of the way before tomorrow so I was gonna try to wait for court to be down so I can just blitz these last three fights but I do need to make sure that I do have um, I guess just have one fight to go when I wake up and hopefully time I wake up I can just get it done and go about my Mardi Gras day all right so this is the reason why I brought Storm Pyramid X. Uh, we got Sorcerer here. With that synergy, she automatically starts with one bar of power. So what we're gonna do is use this node against him at the beginning. And then we're gonna immediately fake sell them with my S SP1 and just keep the, keep the buff under control from there. So here we go. how this tactic makes fights like this much easier to deal with. Fight's gonna be a little bit different. I'm not gonna let him hit my block 
this time. And actually, I'm going to tell my Alliance member that Court has suicides. So use that to your advantage. There, buddy. All right. So we're not going to let him hit my block in this fight. The opponent here. We're just going to uh, dance around a little bit. Yeah, probably intercept. Uh, bait, bait heavy intercept with special fake seal. All of his buffs will have complete control of the fight. Starting right here. Boom. Just keep getting more buddy buff. Get more buffs. Trying to change modes. There we go. I was trying to change modes before I do that special. Sacrifice some some of that boot force, but I'll regenerate all that back. The sorcerer is good like that. Sorcerer, you are supreme. I wish you were incinerating poison me and I could take the boss down right now. But we will think twice about that. And just get that done. Um, yeah, Korg has suicide, so I'll let teammates know. As far as the standings go, we're down only by one, so much cleaner war this time. So, um, and they have more fights left. We're struggling as an individual BG, but hey, better than the first two wars, so always good to improve. All right, so this will be a pretty much a precursor of this fight, because this fight is gonna go pretty much the same as those last two fights you just saw. But I will see you guys, I guess, later this morning. All right, guys, good morning. Um, uh, we are on pace to win, though, so we're up 30 to 20 overall, and our BG finally got the lead, 14 to 8. We'll check that out after this fight here. So, last fight, you guys can see, I source were pretty much toured around with those uh, defenders in the previous node, and imagine this this fight not being any deep any different <laughs> so, um, but some like cartoon character any different <laughs> so anyway um we will go ahead and apply the power boost probably gonna gain back a lot of power we're just gonna get it over with and we will also start in this default room we're gonna purposely give her some um buffs and fake silver so here we go of the war.
ain't that much power at that time. It's cool. I'm gonna face it, all of them again, and I'm gonna have all that power. These people can't glance too. Super hard. All right. Let's see how much damage this does. She is a rank four defender, and I had a rank three attacker. Yeah, twenty four percent. And we're gonna get that power right back. This has got to be one of the easier boss fights you ever gonna see, guys. <laughs> I mean, yeah, sorcerer. Hope I didn't start anything by just showing this video. They might ban her. But keep in mind, there are a lot of mystic subdue attackers that can do this. She's just, just probably the, the least stressful. But yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, ban your tiger. Um, Cause you gotta pick your poison. The tiger could do that fight too. Yeah, guys, so that'll do it for the war. Um, I think we're going to win this because I don't know if you're going to get the recap from me anytime soon today because, again, it is Mardi Gras. But let's check out our defense real quick. Let's just check that out. Um, okay, equal distribution of kills. I got no kills defensively. That's not cool. Uh, okay, all of our kills counted on defense, so that's good. Uh, what about the BG2? Same thing, they're all counted. And BG1, all counted, so... So we got a true bonus of 12. I don't know what our true attack bonus is right now. We still got 19 fights left, but like I said, we are in great shape to pull this one out, so... Anyway, like, share, comment below, subscribe, and hit that bell notification.